Yeah, welcome back to Off Top Podcast. We got your boy Tiff in the house. And before we get started, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for me. We need it. We need it back. What it do, what it do, man. I had to get in here and fuck with your black, man. Man, most definitely, man. It's a good thing to have you here. Yeah, yeah. You already know it. Man, you know. As soon as I got you up in here, man, I was going to ask you out there. How that NSL doing and what it stand for? Man, shit, we doing good, man. I feel like I'm behind, man. Just got down, but this, I started this year in 2019, man. Got down uh, National Street League. Got the LLC and then. But shit, we, we just working, man. You know what I'm saying? I started with nothing. Just believing in myself. And shit, it came from one video, another video, another video. We had been putting music out and just got down and then, you know. Y'all niggas got me with the rapping and trapping and shit, man. We here. You know what I'm saying? We here. But we working, though. We working like a motherfucker, man. You know? Making it transition from the street to the other. They see that easy as it seems, but it can be done, though. Because you got the right niggas around, you know? Give you motivation, talking to me and shit, so. Most yeah, you know, yeah, that's how I got to this point I'm at now. Yeah, so how'd you get that name Tilt, man? Man. Well, I got that name. Oh, in the, in the projects in the hood, man. I moved to uh, Tommy Home, moved to West Side of Hell. Hell, yeah, my partner, um, my partner, Courtney Crowder, man. She rode, man. That nigga, uh, we ride on the bus one day. And my mama had a cat, you know what I'm saying? So, and the cat name was Tip. My favorite, Tiffy. So, goddamn, hey, we riding on the goddamn bus one day, and that motherfucker, they seen it out there. Hey, man, Tiffy, man, goddamn, that Tiffy, you know what I'm saying? They, they hate cat, goddamn, and they just tattooed me with that motherfucking name, man. And first, you know, I ain't like that shit, but you know, and that shit stuck with me, so shit, it been, it been that ever since. Oh, man, that's a fire name, man. They also call you something else, Diaz, is that it? Man, D.A.D. Yeah, yeah, that's my name. Well, that's my middle name. You know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. I, I go by D.A. Yeah, now. Just cause, you know, it's another chapter in my life. Just on some grown shit. Just doing it goddamn different. Just like probably from, I give you an example from my titty boy 2 chain. You know what I'm saying? Just, hey, just trying to goddamn switch it up. No, it's gonna, still going to be some motherfuckers know me always with tip, Tiffy. Like, yeah, that shit ain't going nowhere. But, you know, right now it's D.A. You know what I'm saying? That's what I go by. That's why we see in the music video, D.A. But, yeah, that ain't no name I made. That's my middle name. Oh, yeah. that shit. On that, on that, um, uh, on that rapping and trapping, I know we be calling you, um, uh, uh, Miz, right? Yeah, Miz. Miz, yeah. yeah. Miz, Miz seen a little laid back, cool ass nigga, man. How you come up with that character? Like, what made you just. Man, shit, Miz is laid back. Hey, that shit really ain't hard. That really me. You know what I'm saying? I'm laid back, cool motherfucker, man. Like, shit, you know, get money. Yeah, damn, you know what I'm saying? This type of shit, I always get money when I was young. I just got there, you know, more I older I got, I just want to take it to another level, just try to do some different shit, dream big, thought big, you know what I'm saying, this shit, and it started, it started happening, it just started manifesting, so when that shit came about, you know what I'm saying, when y'all came and got me for that shit, yeah, that shit was kind of, it was easy, I always wanted to act, you know what I'm saying, do shit, but when y'all were just telling me, like, get in the character, you know what I'm saying, just on certain parts and shit, like, hey, bro, you too laid back right here, like, you know, I started getting ideas and shit, and I just, I snapped them in, like, yeah. I get that shit. I like it. That shit fun. I got a passion for that shit too. You play the hell out. I don't think nobody can play that character like you play. You play the hell out of that boy. Mm. That boy me is, man. I got to push up on the situation. I'm going to handle that in shit probably about goddamn about 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. Nigga, if they come holler, we're going to figure out what's going on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, if we don't figure out what's going on, then you know what time it is. You know what we got to do. Go see that. Yeah, you tell me, man. Bro, shit fucked up, man. The fuck you mean fucked up, nigga? Man, this young nigga ran off on me, bro. Ran off on me. Three. Three. Three birds, bro. A hundred, nigga? Yeah, bro. Hey, listen. Look, 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 bro. Look. You know how this shit go. Trust is something I got a hard time giving my nigga. And then when I give my shit, I still don't trust a motherfucker, man. Bro, look, man. It's me, cop up, bro. Man, I don't... Look, look, man. I don't give a fuck about all that, nigga. Nigga, we down a hundred, nigga. Bro, you need to get on your shit. Where this nigga at, man? Man, I got the dot on this nigga. I already, I already got I'm saying you got you got everything. You got the info, everything. Yeah, I got it. Give, give, give me a month. I got man, it. Man, a month? Man, motherfucker, I'm pushing up on you at 6 a.m. in the morning, nigga. <laughs> go home, nigga. I don't, you think you trying to go to sleep, nigga. I ain't even going to sleep tonight, nigga. How the fuck you sleeping? Man, we're going to be a minute something. You think we're going to let Man, I don't give a nigga. damn. Hell no. It ain't that, nigga. It's you, nigga. You trusting this nigga. Nigga with a hundred? You talking about a young nigga. God damn, you do your homework or something, nigga? Man, I got my people finna get on his ass tonight. Bro. Man, hell yeah, tonight, cause I'm at your house there goddamn night. 6 a.m. in the morning, my nigga. <laughs> the 
the boy Miz, man. I be tapped in on that shit, man. Yeah, I'm ready to get back to work on this shit now. Like, how we working now? Like, well, we working, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm what practice like, y'all working on? Shit, man. We got the, we got the rapping and trapping. Oh, okay. 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 Miz! This is the guitar I'm going to hold this nigga. Hmm, shit, man. Man, listen to me. This shit be going easy, or this shit be going hard, man. Bro, nigga, I'm down on hard, man. Man, where the fuck that nigga at? I don't know who the fuck y'all niggas is. Hey, bro, you got to tell us something to date this, bro. I understand yeah. that, bro, but I don't fucking know where he at. Man, listen to me, nigga. Man, I ain't got time to be playing with your motherfucking ass, nigga. Nigga, you tell me what the fuck I need to know. I'm gonna blow these motherfucking kneecap off, nigga. What the fuck you wanna do, nigga? Bro, blow my kneecap off. Cause I don't know where the fuck you get, nigga. Man, hey, man, what a drill that nigga shit, man. Drill that nigga got that nigga, man. I'm gonna hang a picture of your motherfucking ass. I'm gonna fuck that shit at, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Episode 4 and 5 for a week coming out. Goddamn, man, shit, I got my shit, the NSL, I got some artists and shit, I got some female artists coming up. Man, I got a lot of shit in the making, you know what I'm saying? We got some more videos dropped, I got some, I even got some more artists of my own. I'm really just, you know what I'm saying, I'm an entrepreneur, man. I'm really a hustler, you know what I'm saying? I like the music shit, I like this, I like the acting shit, but, you know what I'm saying, at the same time, man, I just like to put niggas in position, man, and see them niggas win too, especially my partner win. Right. We on the same way, look, same frequency, man, like, I'm down, I'm fucking with you. Matter of fact, we got the live house, we got the studio coming. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody waiting on it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be like, when they gonna be ready? When they gonna open up about shit? You know, when God ready for it? Like, ain't no rush on nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just letting the everything manifest, manifest to him, come into his own. And shit, I was sick. Yeah, what you think we can work on to make this city better, man? Man, I love this man. Hey, bro, I love my shit, man. I love a little character, man. Like, just growing up from this motherfucker, man, and just. Realizing, goddamn, you know, you mature a little bit. What, what, what you can do? You get what I'm saying? Cause you know we were limited resources and shit, so it was hard to dream and be. You get what I'm saying? Now I just so I came to the point where I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? Once you know who you are, bro, you you so you powerful, man. You want to stop? <laughs> Can't nobody stop you but you. You right. get what I'm saying? Like, and shit, just got down for this city, man. Like it just, it's a lot of hate in it, bro. It's a lot, it's a lot of hate in it. But it like that everywhere you go. But I see this shit still special, man. Hey, hey, you know I went to character, man. I went. I went to carry my whole life, man. Like elementary, junior high. So I'm a Trojan. I believe back in gold. And that shit embedded in all this. One thing about it, everybody from the hood, the city, they did something. Little damn, they were playing ball, boxing, or something before they hit the streets. It's just, you know, we just come a victim of circumstances. Just be out here in the streets, or, you know, trying to make our, our people live better. You know what I'm saying? We we not as fortunate as others. You get what I'm saying? Like, even me growing up, I ain't, I ain't never got a pair of J's. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. mom, we were straight, but. She bought me one pair of J's. I felt like I did some shit. Like, uh, she caught me shooting on a bird one time. She took them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she took them back. But, like, but yeah. I could have got my J's. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to have all that on my mom. She always took care of me. But, like, you know what I'm saying? That's probably why I go as hard as I go now. I bet you when you shot that bird, I bet you had just probably got your little first piece of pussy, didn't it? Man, I wouldn't hell. No, I wouldn't even fucking back then. I was younger than my mom. Oh, for real? <laughs> Man, my mom got there put me on pine for some more bullshit. Like, oh, yeah. Know? No, nah, we're about to fake with no bullshit. I had got caught. I did some shit. Yeah, I think I had got caught stealing or something up there in Newton, man. Cause my mom used to be the manager there at Harvard. I think mm-hmm. I got caught stealing. Yeah, I did get caught stealing, man. I was stealing some goddamn motherfucking ring pops and shit. Oh, man. yeah. I just still, I was younger head though. When the folk came and got me and got there and told my mom and shit. So, put me on pine and somebody was jumping on my little brother. I couldn't really go. He came to the one and I couldn't really go up there. So, goddamn, I was mad. I think I wrote, I hate my mom or something. She oh. mean or something, she seen that shit, you know, she mad, she hollered at me about it, but, you know, man, I see it, we talk, we laugh about that shit, yeah, so she watching this one, that shit, I got damn, I walking by shooting the birds, she caught me, <laughs> yeah. I ran, locked my ass in the bathroom about three hours, I ain't never come out that mom. I know that, right, that's <laughs> why. Yeah, I love mom and dad. Yeah, well, they had to do what they had to do, though, they, you know, when there ain't no father there, they got to be the father in everything, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man, my mama was my, you know what I'm saying, my dad, but, oh, uh, matter of fact, I had a, I had a father figure though. My dad, you know, he got down that street on drugs and shit. Um, but I had a stepdad, you know, my little brother dad, he ended up down stepping up, taking that road, man. He made me a better person too though. That good. He still he still there for me now. You know what I'm saying? Just when they when they broke up split, you know what I'm saying? We we got them in up moving the house and we had to move to the project. Now I moved to the same park my cousin, my auntie stayed in. I, I was moving with them and they went to the city and we just stayed down here. So man, we moved in that same park right on that tunnel home on the west side. Shit, when you bust your first rap, what made you start rapping? Damn, I can't even try to 
Man, that's school though. Sometimes probably be in junior high. Yeah. Junior high though, I was, I was real good at that. And we used to, like I said, we used to battle rap Joan and shit like this wild night shit. But me and Camden, we were doing this shit back then. It's just crazy. Him bringing a lot. That shit we were doing back then. Yeah, I started out battle rapping, bro. And I was good at it. You know what I'm saying? And I started, I got down. They would beat. You know, we used to beat on the table. We'd go from there. And, and got down T Lo. I went to the. Uh, I went to a little, he had a little studio set up, and he taught me how to do a song. He just taught me the concept, of like, hey, it was 16 bars. I was just like, what's 16 bars? Like, 16 cents? So we came up with the hook, and, you know, just freestyle shit, put it on the paper, and boom, laid it down. I was like, damn, that was my first song. You know, I, mean, I started learning about the music concept, but before then, I couldn't write no music. Like, I got down, I made a nigga, shit, I battle rap nigga, I just demolish nigga, like, just from then, though. You know, it seemed, it seemed like today, these days and time, it ain't no good time to be no rapper, you know. These, it seems like these folk, you know, they knocking all rappers. Like, look how they did Gorilla. Don't snatch the weed, throw the drink on them, and shot up the party just the other day after the concert. They mm-hmm. shot the damn club up, killed one, and injured four more. <clears throat> so how you feel about going out there being a rapper? Do you think it's safe and you're going to have a real successful career? Hell no, ain't, ain't nothing safe. You, you know it ain't safe for the rapper right now. But my thing is that that's you. That's you. You know what I'm saying? That's your path. You know what I'm saying? You got to go on your path. You get what I'm saying? But you got to move. It's like the street, man. You got to move militant. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 right. down, you got to move safe. You know what I'm saying? If, if y'all don't out there on some business shit, you know, one of my artists, like, hey, I'm with you. You got to, hey, we doing something. Or we got show to go. And I tell you, you got to everybody get back to the room. Like, I don't, don't go to the Waffle House. You go to the Waffle House, get some shit that's on you. And I'm like, hey, bro, you got to pay for your goddamn lawyer. If I ain't tell you go there, I'm going to try to get you to go there. Like, you got everything got to be right, man. Because yeah, right. it's a target on rapper right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't for real. It, it, no motherfucker doing it. But if it, if you good at it, man, do it. But see, at the same time. But now, nah, I wouldn't advise nobody to be no rapper. You know what I'm saying? I do it because it's something I like to do, though. You get what I'm saying? I got a passion for it. I like to act. I got a passion for it. You know what I'm saying? See, at the end of the day, I really came from the street. So, this transition kind of, it's different for me. And I'm, I'm a hustler. I'm an entrepreneur, so. That's why I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do what I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just follow my goal. You know what I'm saying? Goals and follow my dream. I just really ain't me. It's just on the path of God. That's all I got for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of time, I know, I used to run a couple clubs, right? Mm-hmm. And I, sometimes, a lot of time I'd be at the door. You know, you're taking the money and you mean people. They come in there pretty straight. You know, they come in there sober. A lot of time, and then they go back there and they drink their liquor. They can't handle their liquor. They Make them want to fight and shoot and shit after the club when everything over with. And then I just see the rappers, you know, they going now, they rap they song, they have a good show and everything, but the people that getting drunk can't handle their alcohol. They fuck it up for everybody, but it seems like the public always want to blame the rapper. Oh, you went to an NBA young boy concert, a boy got stomped out or something. This ain't happening. I'm just making an example. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like the trouble just be. Just draw to gangster rappers and, you know, different kind of rappers and stuff like that. But you hardly ever see that at a Beyonce concert. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, it's different energy, different vibe. You get what I'm saying? But see, you never control what nobody else going to do in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I mean, folk going to do what they want to do. And right. what I'm saying? See, you know, it's a different generation. I mean, she used to have back in the day, too, though, but. You can't control what nobody gonna do. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't it ain't the artist's fault. You get yeah. what I'm saying? See, it ain't it ain't no different than we watching these movies, Scarface and all that shit. It's the same old shit. They just wanna, you know, they just wanna have somebody to blame it on. You get what I'm saying? But see, y'all putting out all these movies, and kids seeing that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's it life. You get what I'm saying? See, all we can do is try to deliver a good message and, and, and go from there and help them out. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it, it, it ain't it ain't the artist's fault. It ain't the rapper's fault though. Yeah, yeah you ever lost a homeboy? Once you see it, you realize how vulnerable life is, yeah. how important life is. Yeah, I got that nigga there. Yeah, he tatted on me and everything. Know what I do? Don't break the rules. Want me to tell you what the fuck, Captain Hobbs? Well, you heard what he said. We might get it, man. I might go to jail. Hey, that's Jimmy, man. Hey, you can take that. I'm digging. Take that back, man. I'm loving y'all. Matter of fact, that nigga, uh, I got a 
future him in the studio. He in the Is that what time it is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He got studio coming live. Yeah, he in the You know, I've been, I, you know, I, I, I've been around a good little while. And back in the day, it was in my teenage years, you could hardly ever see, like, these young people out in the street, homeless and on drugs and shit like that, selling themselves for crumbs, you know what I'm saying? What the hell happened to this generation? I'm going to say this 20, 20, 2000 generations. No, 20, 2020 generation, you know what I'm saying? I see them walking around out there like zombies late at night, you know? Shit, they just more got them, they more drugs out here. You know what I'm saying? Now, shit, the shit, <laughs> it ain't real. You know what I'm saying? You got fit now, you taking a chance. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker just really jumping out the pool, period, and got them kill itself. Just got for pill that, you know what I'm saying? It ain't real. You know, we got to think about we coming up. You know, you probably had the, what, the weed? Yeah. The little bit of man, the cocaine. You got the cocaine. Yeah, it's a little bean. It's a bean. Yeah, it's a bean. But now this shit out here below. You get what I'm saying? This out here below and it ain't real. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. This, you know, shit don't change. They what got these young kids. They ain't really got nothing to do. You know what I'm saying? They just, they just make got it. You know what I'm saying? You hope they get it right before they trick themselves off the streets or, you know what I'm saying, lose their life or fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You know, you more young, you ain't thinking. You just going with the action. Yeah, man. You hearing all type of shit. Children going to school, shooting up the school, beating up the teacher, stabbing students. Man, you hear all type. It's just with some kids just having a party in Douglasville. Someone got killed up there in Douglasville. Yeah, you're crazy. I heard about that shit too, man. Condolences to all the families and shit, man. man. Everybody went through that, man. They just, yeah, that's they crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? How far used to be cool back in the day, man. Like, you can invite folks to your house and have a party, man, before you're yeah, shooting up. It just, hey, it just, hey, the energy's just in the house, man. You know yeah, we, young we, folks ain't really, you know what I'm saying? It's all about being hard and shit, but once they know that shit ain't cool, man, it, you know what I'm saying? Easy to got them pull the trigger, man. Easy to got them go out and shoot somebody. This shit ain't gangster. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Gangsters are trying to get down and get some money for yourself, take care of your family, move your people out the hood, have like, that shit hard. But that Stay was, out of jail. Man, that's what's gangster though. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I, I ain't, I ain't never want to be no gangster. I don't make mistakes. I ain't perfect. But I ain't never want to be no gangster, no rob. I don't do that shit. I ain't, thank God I made it through doing some stupid ass shit I did. But no, nah, man, you got to get out here, man, get focused on you. You got down some goals. You got down, man, figure out who you is and what you want to do with your life and what benefits you no matter who it is. Like, you at the time now, you can bubble. Everybody can bubble. Or, you know what I'm saying? You can blow. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go to, you know what I'm saying? You got this internet, click or bang, you just got to use this shit. You know what I'm right. I'm still learning. You get what I'm saying? But, man, this right, this is a special generation. They don't know how good they got it. You get what I'm saying? Because everything's so accessible to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, when shit we didn't have, you know what I'm saying? We was in school, like, well, you know, now you even with the record label. Now, you had to go, you had to go to a record label, fly to New York. We got there, you know what I'm saying? To get seen, to get heard, you know, had to have your talent. But now you can. Put yourself out there. You get what I'm saying? So, you just got to use their resources and shit, man. You just got to figure out what's going on. Because everybody, everybody trying to follow a trend instead of just being yourself, man. Like, you ain't going you ain't gonna never lose being yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shit, I ain't going to hold you too long. It been good talking to you. Yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate you coming through, man. You got that. You know, we, I, I had to set some time to come talk to you, man. <laughs> but with y'all, I, you know, we got a lot of shit in the making, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Got that rapping and trapping, you know what I'm saying? Shit, uh, I they got their new horror movie, Jinx. New horror, I, hey, I forgot about that. Yeah, we working, man, Jeff. Hey, shout out to anybody, man. Like, this shit possible. It just, hey, it ain't easy, though. You know what I'm saying? It's hard work. You know you, you, have you named the album yet? Mm-hmm. I ain't named the album yet. I mean, I got a couple names. I don't even want to throw them out, though. I feel you. I got a couple names, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You know? When you think we gonna, when you gonna come out with that shit, man? Man, I don't even know, man. It's just... I'm going to be the get, first when, customer. I'm going to be the first customer. I'm buying the first. It's going to be something special, though. When I get time, just to sit in the studio and lock in. Mm-hmm. Just lock in, like, how nigga, how artists you got them do. Mm-hmm. I'll be so busy. I got so much shit on my plate. Like, I don't even have time to just sit and lock in like that. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's even hard for me right now just with the rapping and trapping. The horror move. You know what I'm saying? On top of getting the studio together. You know what I'm saying? I got artists and shit. Like... Man, I, I got a lot of shit going. I shoot, man, do my own videos. I direct them all. So it's like, I just let everything come to play, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got some good niggas around and shit, you know, who, who give me some motivation. Even when I was out there in the street, they want to help me to get up out there. shit. Just, hey, fucking up money, gambling, and just doing all kind of shit, man. I'm fucking up some, I'm fucking up some money. <laughs> like, get crazy. But I'm blessed, though. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I love the gamble. Yeah, yeah. You know what, man? 
I'm going to use some of this shit right here for wrapping the trapping, man. This little interview. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use some of this shit. Man. But anyway, we out of here, man. Off Talk Podcast, man. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell, man. Already, we need man. it. Already, man. Y'all, y'all stay positive out there, man. Do your thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody tell you you can't never do nothing. This shit is possible, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't been up. I don't been down. I don't came down. So just believe in yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself. You got to go for it. You know what I'm saying? And with God, all things are possible, man. Don't let them, don't let nobody, no, no circumstance, no nothing, whatever you in, hold you back. It might be dark for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it'll, it'll come together. But you got to do whatever in your heart, man. Your instinct. Follow your instinct. You know what I'm saying? And, and you'll get there. If you got a gut feeling something ain't right, don't go for it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just the instinct. That's the universe telling you. So I mean, right, you need to move another way. You know what I'm saying? See, and if you really want to be successful, you ain't going to be able to hang with your friends all the time, man. You're going to have to be on your own. you got to spend a lot of long time putting your plan together. You know what I'm saying? Executing that shit. I love, I love executing. I love putting the plan together and just going for it. You know what I'm saying? Stop announcing and just showing the end result. They'll see you. You ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to show why. It's just, hey, it just come natural. But, hey, I salute everybody from this city, man. Character, man. Where Georgia, man. Stand up. You know what I'm saying? Let's make it happen. I'm out. Yeah, I do. My house is on the way. Invest in me like 30 k okay. You rapping that nigga, not a hustle nigga on any day. You rapping and we trapping. I mean, we trapping and we rapping. We live this shit for real. Why y'all suck a nigga be acting? Catch up. Yeah, nigga. How nigga know the fuck going on, man? Kirkwood, Guapo. Nigga put that like they know. Rapping and trapping, nigga, check that shit out. On the way, cold world, nigga, check that shit out. Plug.